Welcome. So the way I teach my classes, as I will do today, we'll start with a mindful moment. I love to do that first. It really brings you into this space. It helps you to arrive. It helps your body to settle. It really gets you primed for the practice. And then I will share some thoughts about the full moon meditation and why I love it so much. And then I will offer the meditation. We'll be sitting for about 25 minutes. Um, I will guide you in. And then there will be a significant portion of silence. I, I like to leave silence when I guide because ultimately, if we're paying attention to someone else's voice, it keeps our attention external. And I really like to go internal. I think this is the time and the place where we can meet ourselves in meditation. And so the opportunity to sit in some silence in your own practice, to really go inward, I think is one of the key benefits of meditation. So there will be silence. You'll hear me interrupt just slightly. And then when the meditation portion is over, I will close with a reading and um, that I hope you enjoy. So let's get comfortable in our seats, whatever that looks like or feels like for you. You can have your screen on or off, whatever works. And you can begin to close the eyes gently or just gaze downward at your hands or the floor with a soft gaze if that feels more comfortable for you. Beginning to take a few long, slow, deep breaths in and out of the nose really signaling the body that it's time to relax. Begin to tune in to the support behind you and beneath you. Maybe your feet are on the floor and you can feel that energetic reciprocity between the body and the earth, and the floor, and the cushions rising to support you. Maybe noticing that you are actually always held and supported without ever asking. The universe has your back, so to speak. And then noticing the temperature on your skin, the warmth or coolness of the air. Maybe noticing the places where the clothing is touching the body and where the body is free to feel that temperature fully. Next, becoming aware of sound. There might be some subtle sounds in the body that you notice, the heart beating, the breath, digestion happening possibly. Next, noticing some sounds in the room And then sounds in the house or the building that you're in. And finally, you may notice there are sounds outside, overhead, in the street. And begin to notice that you can discern between which of those sounds are closer, which are distant. The deeper part of who you are is the part that discerns that part that is always present. And noticing the space that you're in, even with your eyes closed, you can get a sense of the environment. And maybe noticing the awareness that is you and how vast that awareness can feel sometimes even beyond the boundaries of the body. drawing that awareness, that attention inward and coming to find the breath moving and noticing what happens as the body breathes. You may sense the movement, the rise and fall of the chest or the belly as you breathe in and out, slow, mindful, conscious breaths right now. You may notice the subtle sensation of fullness on the inhale, emptiness on the exhale, as you breathe in and out. And noticing too how just by paying attention to the sensory experience, to the body breathing, the body does begin to settle down. The mind may want to follow, but there's lots going on. 
Hmm. So if you can imagine parking what's most pressing just outside the space you're in, and maybe it will be there when we're finished, maybe not. Maybe it will come back around again. That's what the mind does. But for now, bringing your attention to our time together, setting your intention to be as present as you can be, knowing you're giving yourself this great gift of self-care, and really arriving here in this space, here in this seat, arriving here in this body, arriving here in this moment. We've never been in this moment before. And taking another deep breath in and out of the nose, really enjoying the ease of the exhale. And if you like, you can leave your eyes closed or open them as I share just a few thoughts before we go deeper into practice. So yesterday, um, Karen was speaking about Mother Nature and the gratitude for the earth. And one of the things that I most notice about my practices over time that I am not separate from the earth. I am not separate from the cosmos. And when we think about how much water is in our bodies and we notice how the moon really affects the tides of the ocean, then we can recognize that the moon can really connect to us and we can connect to that power of the moon. And we have this beautiful opportunity every month to come to a full moon meditation and a new moon meditation. In the new moon, it's the time to plant the seeds, right? In the dark soil of the darkness of the moon and then watch them grow and manifest as the cycle of the moon comes to fruition, to fullness as we are now. And in the energy of the full moon, it's a wonderful time to release what is no longer serving you. And so we can make space for what's new. We can think about, is there something that's a habit or a, uh, something we wanted to get rid of, some limiting belief, something we're holding on to that is no longer serving our highest good. And so when we come to the energy of the full moon, it's this perfect time to tap into that power, that energy to get clear on what you want to let go of and to really increase that opportunity to have that self-knowledge and that intuition and the way we can turn inward to find that clarity. Um, so I love this opportunity to sit in the power of the full moon and we'll do that um, as we practice now. So I'll invite you to um, notice for yourself something that might no longer be serving you and we're going to tap into the power of our heart to connect to that deepest part of who we are and then throughout um, toward the end of the meditation i will offer some phrases for you some things you might not have thought of that you might like to release take what works leave the rest um, and you can always just land and rest in your breath however you work a mantra whatever suits you this is your practice, your meditation. It's never one size fits all. So just settling in now, taking some deeper breaths, closing the eyes if they're not closed. And noticing that you are safe, grounded, present, making this choice to practice. As you listen to the chime, you can let your breath now return to its natural depth and rhythm. No need to control it anymore. Your breath knows just how to take care of you. Let it be easy, gentle. Welcoming whatever arises internally, externally, resisting nothing holding everything in an attitude of kind attention. 
Inviting some relaxation to the body, head to toe, softening the scalp, and furrowing the brow. Allowing the face to be soft and easy, no expression needed. Checking in with the jaw, seeing if you might need to unclench just a little. Allowing the tongue to rest comfortably in the mouth. Maybe rolling the shoulders up, back, and down, away from the ears, letting them just settle down the back. Noticing your posture, sitting upright with a sense of dignity, relaxed, alert. Softening the front body, softening the heart, and softening the belly. Softening the arms from the shoulders on down through the elbows, all the way to the fingertips, letting go of any tension you might be holding there. Just letting the hands rest comfortably in the lap, on the thighs, whatever feels good. Settling your attention now in the pelvis, maybe noticing it sinking just a little bit deeper into the seat beneath you. Feeling the earth, the floor, the cushions rising to support you and hold you in your practice. Noticing your whole body sitting here, the space that the body takes up the places where the body connects to support behind you, beneath you. Really feeling the weight of the body grounding you here, now. To this space, to this moment in time. Softening the legs from the hips on down through the knees all the way to the toes. Letting go of any tension you might be holding there. Now scanning the body, making sure you're as comfortable as can be. It's okay to shift or move if you need to. And sitting still. Turning the attention inward, coming to notice any tingling or pulsing. You might notice that most in your fingertips, in your toes. You might not notice anything at all, that's okay too. But that subtle movement of energy is your aliveness. We are alive in our bodies, we rarely notice. There is a presence that calls this body home. With that inward gaze, becoming aware of the awareness, maybe noticing the one who hears my voice. Noticing the one who thinks the thoughts. Noticing to whatever is arising in this internal realm, the thoughts, emotions, sensations, we letting that fade toward the background. Today, imagining that you are sitting outside. It's nighttime and the weather is perfect. And you are bathed in the light of the full moon. Breathing in this pure white light energy of the soothing moonbeams. Feel the calm, quiet tranquility pour over you. Peace and stillness as you are bathed in the loving light of the moon.
be aware that the light can rejuvenate you, healing and revitalizing your physical body, your energetic body. Now noticing your breath and imagining you could drop your breath into the space of your heart as if you could breathe in and out of the center of your chest. And with each breath in, breathing in that beautiful moonlight, surrounding your heart with light, breathing out light into the world. Enjoy the beauty of the silence, the power of inner peace, Feeling the light you're breathing in. Enlighten your soul and nourish your spirit. When you are ready, we can ask your heart, dear heart, what is it that is no longer serving me that I would love to release? What is it that I can surrender into the light of my exhale. So the time to unburden yourself of anything you desire to be free of that no longer serves you or the greater good. Releasing your attachment to things, obstacles that have been blocking your progress to joy and peace. You can always drop the question in. Don't worry so much about the answer. It's really about the question. What do I need to release today into the energy of the full moon? What might be interfering with my happiness and well-being? We'll sit mostly silent. I'll mind the time. You'll hear my voice offering some suggestions. Take what works, leave the rest. When you notice your attention wandering, come back, resting in the light of the moon, resting in the space of your heart.
Now letting go of the question. Knowing you can always come back again and again to the space of your heart to ask your heart, the deepest part of you, anything you need the answer to. Settling in to the quietude, to the breath, to bathing in the moonlight. Now I will offer some suggestions. Take what works, leave the rest. Today I release fear and doubt. Today in the light of this full moon, I choose to release fear and doubt. Today I choose to release anger and resentment. In this full moon I release anger and resentment. In this full moon, I release judgment of myself and others. I choose to release judgment of myself and others.
in the light of this full moon. I release all that which is not mine to carry. I release all that which is not mine to carry. In this full moon, I release all limiting beliefs. It is time I release limiting beliefs. In the light of this full moon, I choose to release all relationships that no longer serve me. I release all relationships that no longer serve me. In the power of this full moon, I release all feelings of unworthiness. I choose to release all feelings of unworthiness. I release attachment to outcomes in the energy of this full moon. I release attachment to outcomes. And lastly, I release all that which is no longer in alignment with my highest self for the greatest good. In the light of this full moon, 
I release all that which is no longer in alignment with my highest self for the greatest good. And taking one last heart breath here, breathing in that beautiful moonlight, surrounding your heart with moonlight, breathing out any images, letting anything fade as you breathe out last moonbeams of light into the world. Thanking your heart, letting your breath now return to its natural depth and rhythm. And we'll sit silent until we hear the sound of the chime. Eyes closed, sitting in stillness just a little longer, listening to the sound of the chime. Slowly beginning to deepen the breath, 
bringing some small movements to the fingers and toes, stretching in any way that feels good for you, sitting in silence a moment longer. Deepening the breath, bringing some movements to the fingers, to the toes, stretching in any way that feels good for you. And if you like, as I read, you can leave your eyes closed or slowly open them. Today, my reading comes from Miraculous Silence by Mitra Babar. This is her prayer to the full moon. Dear goddess of the skies, today as I sit in your glory, in the completion of your cycle, I am mystified by your radiant beauty. Your full silver body nestles in the sky and mesmerizes the world. I sit in awe of you, in reflection, in thought, in prayer. Oh, enchanting moon, I turn to you tonight, yearning to clear all patterns of thought that no longer serve me. As I chant spirit's name, I wish to release all my fears and remove all blockages on my path so I may see with more clarity. Tonight, I release my anxiety, shedding the layers of pain, accepting and allowing transformation and embracing a new vision. To the winds of the night, I give my fears and doubts, releasing negative patterns of thought and ask that they be carried away to the distant shores of yesterdays. And with this, I shall bring forth faith I shall bring forth promise. I shall bring forth hope for a more enlightened life, living each day with grace. I pray to always be guided by light to spend my days and nights connecting with my higher self. And I pray that as your crescent grows to fullness, once again, I come closer to embracing and realizing my deepest hopes and wishes. O goddess of the skies, guide me to serve, to be part of the healing of this earth. I pray for this as I pray for all, for our unity, our good health, and our peace. In joy, I sit with your bewitching silhouette as you dance magically, illuminating the skies, mesmerizing all who gaze upon you. Namaste.